Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in reflection coefficient and reflection loss. Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss the important formulas to be used in reflection coefficient and reflection loss in transmission lines. The first one is reflection coefficient that is represented as capital K is equal to ZR minus Z0 divided by ZR plus Z0. Here ZR represents the receiving end impedance, Z0 is the characteristics impedance, okay. So the next one is standing wave ratio simply SWR. It is represented as capital S that is equal to 1 plus modulus of K divided by 1 minus modulus of K. So this K represents the reflection coefficient, okay. So the next one is a reflection factor that is represented as small k that is equal to modulus of 2 into square root of zr z0 by zr plus z0. The last one is reflection loss that is equal to 20 log 1 by modulus of small k that is the reflection factor. It can also be written as 20 log modulus of zr plus z0 divided by 2 into square root of z z0. Okay. The first problem is to calculate the load reflection coefficient of an open circuited line and short circuited line. Okay. So in the solution part, first we have to write the formula of reflection coefficient. K is equal to zr minus z0 divided by zr plus z0. So next we are going to calculate the reflection coefficient for this open circuited line. As we all know that for open circuited line the receiving end impedance is equal to infinite. So we cannot substitute this infinite value in this formula. So here we have to simplify this formula by taking this zr as a common one from the numerator and denominator. So this numerator becomes zr into this term becomes 1 minus z0 divided by zr. The whole divided by the denominator becomes zr is a common one. Then this term becomes 1 plus z0 by zr. Then we can divide this zr value. After that we can substitute the value of infinite in this one. As we know that 1 by or any value divided by infinite becomes 0. So here k is equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 1 plus 0. Then k is equal to 1 with angle 0 degree. The reflection coefficient for open circuited line is always 1. Okay. So next we are going to calculate the reflection coefficient for the short circuited line. As we all know that zr value is equal to 0 for short circuited line. Here we can directly substitute this value in this reflection coefficient formula. 0 minus z0 divided by 0 plus z0. Then we can divide this z0 value. Finally we can get minus 1. That means k is equal to its magnitude is 1. This minus represents 180 degree out of phase. Do you all understand this? So here the reflection coefficient for short circuited line is always minus 1 in polar form 1 with minus 180 degree angle okay next problem a 50 ohm line is terminated in load zr is equal to 90 plus j 60 ohm determine the reflection coefficient okay so here the zr value is given 90 plus j 60 ohm and 50 ohm line means the characteristics impedance of the line is 50 ohm. So both zr and z0 values are given. We are going to substitute these values in this formula. K is equal to zr value is 90 plus j60 minus 50 divided by 90 plus j60 plus 50. We can simply add the real terms together. So 90 minus 50, 40 plus j60 divided by 90 plus 50, 140 plus J60. In order to divide the values in reflection coefficient, we have to use polar form. We cannot divide using rectangular form. So it is in rectangular form. We have to convert into 
the polar form. Okay, then only we can divide these two values. Okay, we can convert the rectangular form into polar form using calculator. So here we are going to press shift and then plus sign. We can see that polar with open bracket. Then we can give the real term 40 comma the imaginary term 60. Then close the bracket, press equal. We can get the value of this magnitude in polar form 72.11. So next we are going to get the angle. For that we can press this alpha and tan. Okay, we can see F symbol on the top of this calculator. Then press equal. That is the angle here 56.3 degree. Do you all understand this? Then we can get the polar form of this rectangular value is 72.11 with angle 56.3 degree divided by for this 140 plus J60 the value is 152.32 with angle 23.2 degree. Okay. So now we can directly divide these two values. So here its value is 0 0.47 for this angle in case of division we have to simply subtract that value. So 56.3 minus 23.2 that value is 33.1 degree. This is the reflection coefficient for the given line. Okay. Next problem. A lossless line has a characteristic impedance of 400 ohms. Determine the standing wave ratio of the receiving end impedance is 800 plus J 0, 0.0 ohms. Okay. So here they have given the value of Z naught 400 ohms and Z R is 800 plus J 0, 0.0. So we are going to substitute these two values in this formula to get the reflection coefficient. Okay. So what is the question? Determine the standing wave ratio. Standing wave ratio formula is what? S is equal to 1 plus K by 1 minus K. So for that we can find out this K value first. Okay. So here K is equal to ZR value is 800 plus J 0, 0.0 minus 400 divided by 800 plus J 0, 0.0 plus 400. Then we can add and subtract that real terms. 400 divided by 1200 that is equal to 1 by 3. This is the value of K. After that we can substitute this value in this formula to get the standing wave ratio. Then standing wave ratio is equal to 1 plus K divided by 1 minus K. Substitute the K value here. 1 plus 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 that is equal to 4 by 3 by 2 by 3. We can simply divide all those values to get that Standing wave ratio as S is equal to 2. This is the answer. Determine the reflection coefficient of a line when ZR is equal to 200 ohm and Z0 is equal to 692 with an angle minus 12 degree ohm. So in this problem they have given the ZR value in rectangular form, Z0 value in polar form. In the solution part, first we can write ZR is equal to 200 ohm. That can also be written as 200 plus J 0, 0.0. There is no imaginary term. Okay. So next Z0 is equal to 692 with an angle minus 12 degree ohm. So this polar form can be converted into rectangular form in order to apply in this reflection coefficient formula. Okay. So here we have to convert this polar form 692 with an angle minus 12 degree ohm. It has to be converted into rectangular form. Okay, then only we can substitute these two values in this reflection coefficient formula. We can convert this polar form into rectangular form using this calculator. Here we can press shift. And then minus sign, we can see that rectangular with open bracket. Then give the magnitude value that is 692. And then comma, the angle value is what? Minus 12. Okay. And then close the bracket. Press equal. We can see the real term value 676.878. So next we can press this alpha. Okay, so we can see the capital F symbol on the top of this calculator. 
then press equal we can get the imaginary term as minus 143.87 okay do you all understand this so now we can substitute this is it or and is it not values in this formula k is equal to is it or minus is it not by is it or plus is it not so this is what the reflection coefficient is it or value is 200 plus j 0, 0.0 minus is it not value divided by 200 plus j 0, 0.0 plus this is it not value okay so here minus means we can multiply this minus sign inside this we can get minus 676.878 this minus into minus plus okay so we can simply ignore this zero term then we can add the real terms together subtract the real terms together 200 minus 676.878 is equal to minus 476.878 plus this j term as such in the denominator 200 plus 676.878 is 876.878 minus j 143.87. So next step we are going to divide this numerator with this value. Correct? For division we have to use only the polar form. Okay? So here it is in rectangular form. We have to convert this rectangular form into polar form. Then only we can divide the numerator and denominator values. So here we can convert the polar form of this numerator value that is equal to 498.11 with angle 163.21 divided by the polar form of this denominator value is 888.6 with angle minus 9.31. Then we can simply divide these two values. Okay. So here in this angle we are going to subtract the denominator from the numerator. So here 163.21. This minus becomes plus. So here it is plus 9.31. Do you all understand this? So here we can get the value as 172.52 degree. I have already discussed the rectangular to polar form conversion in the previous lecture video. You can refer that video for better understanding. Okay. Next problem. A transmission line has the characteristics impedance is it not is equal to 745 with angle minus 12 degree ohm and is terminated in is it or is equal to 100 ohm. Calculate the reflection loss in dB. Okay. So in this problem they have given is it not and is it or values. We are going to calculate reflection loss in db its formula is 20 log modulus of zr plus z0 divided by 2 into square root of zr z0 we can simply substitute the values of zr and z0 in this formula and here we can consider only the magnitude okay modulus means what we can consider only the magnitude of the z0 and zr values okay so here 20 log is that our value is 745? Is that not value is 100 divided by 2 into square root of 745 into 100? Then we can simplify this term. Then we can get the answer as 20 log 1.548. So log 1.548 value is 0.1899. Multiply with this 20, we can get the answer as 3.796 dB. So this is the reflection loss for the given is it and is it not values